What's going on guys, this is Trevor with High Desert Tactical and today we're going to talk a little bit about chest rigs. Man, there's a lot of different ways to conceal carry, different holsters, different styles, and you know what depicts a lot of what makes you decide on what's going to be your holster or the style of carry is the weather. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to the winter, you got to bundle up, you put on multiple layers, and it's just much more of a pain in the butt to conceal carry with an in the waistband holster, which is my normal way of carrying pretty much all year round. But sometimes it can be super inconvenient. So that's why today I want to talk about the chest rig by Tracker Leather. Tracker Leather is an Oregon based company, and it's actually one dude that makes some really fine leather holsters. And these are his chest rigs. I have a couple other videos on holsters made by Ed at Tracker Leather. I will put links to those videos down below if you guys are interested. But today we're going to talk about the benefits of a chest rig versus wearing something on the waistband or different styles of carry. Mainly about the waistband because that's mostly where my experience is. Sometimes it can be just a pain in the butt to put on it in the waistband holster. You got to figure out where the belt's going to go, where the holster's going to sit. Then all during that, you got to make sure you don't blow your junk off if you're a dude. Even with the single belt loop little jobbies, they can be kind of a pain in the butt as well. If your belt's too big, it doesn't fit. If it's too small, it shifts around. And it's even a big issue is with the single thing, it doesn't seem like it has as much real estate as like a Serpa style or a dual loop in the waistband holster. It's a lot more uncomfortable and it creates a bigger pressure point. The Tracker Leather chest rigs have none of those issues. They're extremely easy to put on, basically sling it over your shoulder, pass the one band around underneath your lead arm and clip the belt buckle. That's about it. Once you get the gun situated, it's extremely comfortable and fits very, very well. Not only the holsters are made out of a high grade leather, they use an extremely durable web and a clip and buckle system that is made to last a lifetime. And these holsters come in multiple different styles and looks to fit your particular firearm. The chest rigs are concealable depending on the outer layer that you choose. You can have minimal to no printing whatsoever, but in some cases using a lightweight hoodie, you could still conceal carry your chest rig, but with some minimal printing. One of my favorite things about using this chest rig during the winter months is that when wearing it, it makes it extremely easy to drive my vehicle, but also have access to my firearm if ever the case arised for a self-defense situation. I found that these chest rigs were extremely comfortable with long-term wearing, especially during strenuous activities like doing chores around my home, such as splitting wood and feeding my horses. But who am I kidding? Like, I actually do chores around my house. The point is, is that I found that the holsters are very comfortable and easy to move around in and really gave no uh, discomfort to my shoulder whatsoever with this three-point harness system. Drawing from the chest rig is fairly intuitive. The thing is, is that I don't have the most training with using a chest rig, so I'm just kind of demonstrating how I felt the mechanics were working just so you guys can see how easy the firearm is removed from the holster. After wearing the Tracker Leather chest rig for several months now, especially during the colder weather, I've really come to enjoy having it and using it. And also practicing drawing from it has become a lot easier and a little bit more natural and my muscle memory is starting to be built up. Now everybody's going to be a little bit different when it comes to using a chest rig, but I find that they're extremely beneficial with the proper training and the proper application of carry. So if you guys ever have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Ed. I will put his Facebook page down below and his contact information at the end of this video. If you have any questions for me, just leave a comment down below or email me and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, you guys take care, be safe, and I will catch you later.